Hey there, thanks for coming back to the channel. My name's Gar and this is ArachnoTube. My battery's gonna run out in any second. This is going to be one of a very, very rare kind of unboxing videos. I don't do unboxing videos very often. Um, the reason being is because I can't stand watching them. So, <laughs> so anything that I find boring, I try not to do on, on the channel. So, uh, this uh, box... Uh, first of all, before I start, actually, there's two things I need to say. So, um, when this box is being paid for by myself, it's no, not any kind of... Um, uh, advertising and it hasn't been given to me for free so uh, so it's mine um, also as well I'd like to thank new channel members this month so uh, Jojo, Exo Cavern, House of Bugs, Dave Dance, thank you very much John Watson, Pet Rock and Roll, uh, Spider Chronicles, Woody's Bugs and there's a few more as well that'll be in the next video so let's open this box Have a quick look in there now. There might be some equipment in here. Yeah, there is. Okay, so some. So they're the 32 ounce with the the felt, you know, the fabric tops. I like the fabric tops. Sweet as a nut, some fruit fly media. So you can kind of guess what's, what's going to be in this box, I'm sure. sure. Close this here, make sure it's safe. Boom, right. Now then, oh, there could be some other stuff in here actually. Hold on. Right, no. I hate this shit. Packing peanuts, oh, hang on. So there's a mantis. Okay, cool. So that's an orchid mantis. Pretty wicked. What I'll do, I'll just go through the box, right? And then I will um I'll unpack everything. So we can have a good look at it, don't worry about us, it's just pots. Oh. And that's a spiny flower mantis. Oh. And this one's a thistle mantis. And this one is Devil's Flower Mantis, so the Idolamantis Diabolica. All looking great alive at the moment. Heat pack all nice and warm. Hang on, I'm just going on you. Let's see this move some of these away. Oh, there's another mantis. Oh yeah. This is the alien head mantis. The uh, idolomorpha. There we go, and some fruit fly cultures. So, uh, these are Hydei. And then these ones would be uh, Melanogaster. Oh, 
basil to brads and they've all got a few flies in there already so i'll just pop them they'll get a bit warmer and then we can uh, we could give them a good feed in isn't it set these up i've got stuff to feed these mantis anyway i've got uh, my pots ready to go as well Now, just a quick look around just to see if there's nothing else. I think that should be it. Yes, okay, cool. So, next part of the video is going to be uh, me rehousing these little, uh, little bar stewards. Okay. <laughs> I, if you follow me on Instagram, some of you do, I set up these two uh, Pro Mantis enclosures because I knew, uh, I ordered the um, Idolomantis Diabolica and the Idolomorpha, the alien heads, um, and then there was something out of stock, so Lee messaged me to ask me what I want uh, as a replacement, and I said, surprise me, so I've had three other mantis so i'm gonna to need to do pots up for those in a second so firstly first i'm going to um uh just rehouse those two into these ones that i uh planned on having them in it and then i'll um fashion up some uh, three other pots to for the three other ones uh, they won't need as big a stuff moving forward this is only temporary i mean the idola mantis by the time hopefully it gets to adult it'll be in a uh, massive either net enclosure or like a paw hut cage because they can't climb uh, any any plastic. So these are, are absolutely great. But what I've done just in case as well, if you notice in the background, I have put a um, just a small piece of um, metal mesh in there as well, just to help it, you know, so that they can, they've got these things on the side as well, these, of these enclosures are great. And obviously the net in the top but just in case a little bit extra that uh, needs to be sorted out but you know what I mean so let's sort this one out first it's a bit it's fallen over a little bit there we are right sounds and Bit of water in there, not too much. There we go. So this one is going to be for the um, idolomorpha. So I'm actually going to do it just out of camera shot, just for a second. They could stay in these pots. I'm sure the size they are, you know. But I'm. Uh, I've already made them, so I might as well keep putting them in there. Let's see if the camera will pick her up. Maybe. No. I'll get some phone pics now. Where's my phone? Yeah. Sexy phone. Look at this man. Okie dokie. This is a cool, cool, cool shot. You guys. You can see my rig. You can see. <laughs> and I obviously have, I'll upload this now. Hello, new arrival. You're a weirdo, aren't you? Alien head. Going up, Bill. There we go. I really like these uh, these Pro Mantis stuff. It's in there now. I will just uh, get you some good a good look at them, but. I'm really, really getting into mantis, man. I love it. Mantids are the way to go. 
So that's Idol and Morpha. You can go on the shelf in a second. I keep these pots as well because they are good for nymphs. Same again with this one. Bit of water in the bottom, not much. Okay. And where are you? Here you go. These buggers are <laughs> these buggers are well uh, quick. Come on. Oh wow. Okay, so one more time I'll do you've gotta see this. This is I my favourite bloody thing. Shit. Stay there, dude. Where are you? You are pink. Absolutely immense things. In. He's a bit, uh, a little bit small, aren't you, bud? No, oh, you're in, right? Just in the, in the corner there. I'll be absolutely fine, man. But plenty of stuff to cling to, plenty of stuff to um, to walk over. Not too many flat, uh, clear plastic surfaces, and um, so that'll be fine. Now then, let's um, let's make some of the pots up. All right, so I've knocked these up just quickly uh, out of bits I had. Now you don't need to have any um, substrate in it. Uh, the reason I put it in here is during winter time, when the heat's blasting in this room. Uh, it's very, very difficult um, to maintain humidity and things dry out really quickly. So I just put a small layer of substrate there. Probably when they're larger, I'll just change it to like tissue paper at the bottom or nothing sometimes. But uh, I like to have a bit of sub, especially during winter times. So this one, and I've just cut myself, cut in, <laughs> cut in the leaves. This is Blepharopsis mendica, the thistle mantis. I should just be able to. Oh, I probably can't even see because. Uh, I don't even. I tell you what I'll do. It's much easier just to do this. Get you on the uh, on your old. Come on, down you go. Yeah, that's one in. Now, right, I, al I always keep these that the mantis come in, right? Because they're such a ball lick to make yourself. And if you do get nymphs or you do get wh whatever you need, uh, pots, it'll be great for um, the fishing spiders or the trichonephila. I keep them, always keep them. Recycle as much as you can. Now, these. Pots with these lids were, were going to be f going to be for my fruit fly cultures, but these surprise mantis might as well have them, and I'll um, just use um, some. I'll recycle some of the old ones I've got, or just put another order of these in. Now this one is the Pseudocreobotra walbergi. The uh, spiny flower mantis, and this one's molted in, in transit. So let's just do the same thing. See if we can. Uh... So yeah, you can see it's molted during its journey. It's actually camera's concentrated on the molt. <laughs> A good looking little mantis, isn't they? Mm. 
looking at that it's licking like taking the um, moisture off my actual skin so I might need to give it a good mist in there now see it so after it's mold it's trying to regenerate uh, recuperate sorry it's uh, fluids oh look at that I'll shut up and just let you watch Okay, let's pop her in. I'm saying her. No idea yet. I haven't had a look. Then you go look. You go that way. Go on. Nice and easy. Go on to that stick by there. Come on. <laughs> Throw me a little uh, th threat posture. The tiniest threat posture ever. <laughs> okay, doc. Oh, I'm flashing the butt at me as well. Come on, you know. Go that way. Come on. Oh, oh well. Freaked it out a little bit, but it's in there, it's alright. Yeah, it's fine. There we are. Clip them in now. Just click on these, they're hard to click on. There we go. There we go, and lastly, but by no means least. The Orchid Mantis, Hymenopus Coronatus. Ah, oh, here we are. I'm coming out, I just want to go straight in. <laughs> go on. In you go there. No, 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 go there. There we go. That one was well behaved. Fair play. And like I said, I'm going to keep all these bad boys. They come in hand really super handy. Happy days. So, thank you very much for joining me on a very rare unboxing video. If you'd like me to see, if you'd like me to see, if you want to see me unbox more stuff, Say down in the comments, um, I'm not too sure what you guys want uh, from the channel and I'm up for anything at the moment, so uh, it's goodbye from him, the uh, Mantis boy, uh, Ninja boy, Grabby boy, and I'm Garth from Rock and Tube, stay safe everyone, take care.